Hey there, I'm Dr. K. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a radical easy. Let's do it. Let's use an example like radical 90. Now, this might look, a, look like a nightmare at first. I mean, what do we do with it? That's a big number, and then there's this weird symbol above it. So, remember that what a radical means, you're taking the square root of a number. So, for example, the square root of 4 is equal to 2. Well, that's because the square root of 4 is actually 2 squared. So a radical is undoing the square. So you're taking this outside, which is equal to 2. Okay, let's come back to 90. So in order to simplify this, we're going to have to take 90 and make it into the longest expression that we can, multiplying it. So what is 90 equal to? 90 is equal to 9 times 10. But we can simplify this even further, huh? So 9 times 10 is actually equal to 3 times 3, which is 9. And furthermore, 10 is 2 times 5. So, in order to simplify this long expression, we have to find perfect squares within the radicand. So this is the radicand, and a perfect square within it would be 3 times 3, because it's the same as 3 squared. When you have a perfect square within a radicand, you can eliminate it by taking it outside of the expression. So this expression is actually the same as 3 times 2 times 5 within the radicand. So that's the radical of 2 times 5, which is 10. And just to make it a little bit more simple, it's the same as saying 3 radical 10. You don't have to put that, that sign there for multiplication. So there you go. That's a radical made pretty simple and easy for you. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. K.